What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the lab. Today we have a quick and dirty project. We're going to be making a steel workshop uh, bench. So we're going to be running through the plasma CNC today. We're putting our welder to work. Um, I'm going to be getting my feet wet, making up all of that stuff. So we're going to head out to the new metal shop and get going. Just cut the plates for the bottom of the legs off on the plasma CNC. They're a little uh, funky. The holes are just pilot holes, so we need to pre-drill them out. We'll tap them later and throw some casters in. I'm all set up, so I'm going to get to it. Lube is a must, or it's a bust for the hole. We're going to lube the hole. Hole lube. Brought to you by... Skip. Skip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Boom. I ain't gonna do that. No, the, the one that says Lincoln. Shut up. This one? Yeah, that one. Or this one. The black one. Which one? <laughs> We're just welding up some legs right now. Um, I got four of these to make, and then the frame will all go together really quick. Uh, these are those plates that we just drilled out. Ooh, watch. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. The smoke. It's just uh, burning oil. That's all. That's all good. <laughs> cool. All right, one down. Three more to go. We just welded up all four of these. The end plates are on for the casters. Now we're going to make both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our armor tool clamps we'll clamp it up nice and square we'll tack it all together we'll get both sides done and then we will tack all the stretchers in once those are in we weld the whole thing up and get the top on we're on the home stretch finally And we'll go right here. Which way do you want to turn? You call it. Um, go this way. Oh no. So it's a little wobbly. We can't tell if it's the floor or if the frame's skewed. I wanted to just put this on there to see how off it is. But I mean, this is some thin plate. So if you look at it from here, it's bowed anyway. We're just gonna clamp it down and weld it. And then the casters are getting thread into the bottom of the posts so we can sort the wonkiness out that way. So almost done, got a little bit more welding to do and then get the vise behind you. Get that on there and then that is a wrap. It's okay. So we have the casters that go into the, each one of these posts. Got a tap, that's the same as the thread pattern. We plasma these holes in the bottom of these caps so we can tap them and then we can turn them out, you know, just so they're all perfectly level after the fact. It's a little bit 
of an insurance policy. I'm doing like a quarter turn and then a half turn back. I really don't want to load the cutting uh, teeth up too much, but when you get through, I mean, it's quarter inch plate, so it's not really that bad. Clean those up. Those are going to be really good deep threads. I'll grab a caster, check out the fit. Ooh, that's that good, good. Yeah, just a little bit of wobble, but super, super right. That is satisfying. All right, one down, three to go. Now what? Now I need Jeff's help to get that piece of plate on here and then I'm gonna get under it and I'm gonna weld it on. I don't really know how or where I'm gonna weld it yet. I really don't want it to warp. So I'm gonna consult the squad and then when we know what we're doing, I'm just gonna it on there, drill some holes and this puppy is done. I'm clamping the top plate down to the frame. So as I go around tack weld it, it's not gonna move on me. And then once it's tack welded, I am gonna run bigger beads around everything. But first, I really want this thing to like stay flat and not run away from me when you know I start attaching it to the frame. This will help me. So the table's all welded up. It's time to get this thing mounted on here. We, w I wish the CNC was big enough, but we couldn't get a plate this size on there. So I gotta drill the holes by hand. I'm just gonna drill them three different bits in concession. And then with, is that the right word? Concession? That's not the right word. In succession, that's what I was going for. We're gonna drill the holes in succession with these bits. And then we're gonna throw this stainless hardware through here. This is a really cool um, vice. It, if I could figure out how it works, there we go. We're gonna kitty corner it like this so it can swivel in the corner, bolt it down, and then this thing is finally done. And then we have another one to make, and you're making it, man. Yeah, you are. I don't have pants on. I am loosely finding center and punching. Boom. All right, now that we've got the holes punched, it's just time to drill. This is gonna take a little while. You wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? So there you have it, our steel workbench is all done. We do have another one to make, but this thing is an absolute beast and I have a lot of So I'm super excited about this because a lot of projects will get made on these. We also got to put our plasma CNC to the test, our welder, and uh, everything checked out. This thing went together so easy. Our horizontal bandsaw cut everything up too. And now we've got this eight inch vise up on here to start doing some real projects in the metal shop. I think we'll put some plans up on GitHub if you do want to make this exact table. They're really, really awesome, really simple to build. I had a ton of fun. Subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you in the next one. I don't really understand what's going on in here. Is it just like a just like curved cast parts that, like it's in the casting and there's probably like slots. It's, it's so loose though. I'm stupid.
What's going on?